Hello! In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a variable product. Okay, so we're starting on the home page, going up to the corner drop-down menu, going to vendor dashboard. This is where you'll sign in. So go ahead and log in and this will take you to your vendor dashboard. So this is where you set up your store and add your products and monitor your orders. So to make a variable product, go into products. And we're going to create a new product. So come up here to the create product plus sign. Okay, now you can see in the background, this is what your product page is going to look like. Um, and over here is where you're entering the information about the product. So let's just call this variable product demo. And for the type, we're going to switch it to variable. It's not virtual, so we want to make sure that's not clicked. The description box. This is the main description that shows up at the bottom of the page. And the short description is the description that shows up on top. And then you can select a category. You can come over, add images for your products. But I'm going to go straight down to attributes. All right, so this is where you're going to add the different attributes of your product. So if the thing that's variable about your product, for instance, is size, then you're going to want to change this name to whatever your attribute is. So I'm going to put size. And now you're going to add all the different size options that you have. So let's say that you have a 20 inch size, add that, a 10 inch size, and a 4 inch size. Okay, now we have our attributes set up. So go on down next to variations. And we're going to add variation. So first you have to select the item. I'm going to start with the 20 inch variation. Create a variation. Let's give it a minute. Okay, now no picture is showing up because I haven't loaded one. So for your 20 inch variation, you're going to put in the price. Let's say it costs $10 to do a 20 inch one. You don't need to fill in the weight, the weight length or width. Um, don't do shipping class. Every product gets charged $350 per shipping automatically. And then you can go ahead and enable stock management. And this will let you put in how many you have of it. So if I have five of the 20 inch product, I'm not going to allow back orders. It is in stock and it is the 20 inch one. So if you look over at your product page, you can see that now your product is showing up with the variable of a size and people can choose an option 20 inch and it shows that you have five in stock and it's ten dollars so if I go back to the variations and I'm going to add another one let's say this product also comes in a 10 inch I'm going to create a variation there give it a minute or okay um, 
again, let's say 10 inches is a little bit cheaper. Let's say it's $8. Come on down here, enable stock management. Let's say I only have three of those. It's in stock, 10 inches. That's ready to go. So now if you look at the product page, you can see that your variable product has prices from $8 to $10. And the thing that's variable is the size and you can choose an option. You can choose the 20 inch or you can choose the 10 inch. If you choose 20 inch, then your customer will see that it's $10. And if you choose the 10 inch, then you can see that it's $8 and then they can add that to the cart. Now, if you had more attributes than just size, then you could add a second attribute. Let's say that another attribute that could change about the product is color. And let's say that I have it in silver and gold. Okay, now that those have been added in as possibilities, then you can go to the variations tab and choose which ones you want. So I'm going to say that my, let's look at my 20 inch. five but now you can see that down here there's both size and color as an option so this is a 20 inch and it's silver So now if you look over here, you can see they can choose 20 inch and silver is an option now. And then the price is $10 shows up. And you can go back and add however many other variations you have on your products. If you don't have a price listed, then it won't show up as an option on the product page. And when you're done making your product, make sure to come up here to the green publish button and publish it. And you can go back to your products. And these are all the products that you have um, either drafts of or published products. If you want to see what your store is looking like, then you can, to the public, you can go up to search vendors. Select a vendor from the list. And you can see this is what your page is going to look like to the public. Look at one more. All right, and when you're done, go on and sign out. Confirm and log out. Hope that was helpful. Thanks.